see a lot of southern restaurants do like a a little flair or a little twist. I think that if you keep ingredients in a dish to a minimum, then you're just expressing the flavor of that dish. You're just pulling out what it is about that that you want to share with people. I would say that's the hardest thing about owning a business is bossing people around. I'm not bossy. I don't mind instructing people how to do things, but I don't like to tell them that they're doing something wrong. I came here to go to college and then moved away, worked for AmeriCorps for a little bit. I moved back in uh, 2000. While I was in grad school, I started baking for Espresso News and really enjoying that job and realizing that I was better at that than uh, plant physiology. Decided that that was where I felt like I needed to be. I needed to be cooking food for people. Buying locally has, has always been a thing that, that I've done here from the very beginning. I've bought from a lot of farms, local farms in general. One of my favorites is Full Moon Farm with uh, Jacob and Kara. I buy collard greens, salad mix, vegetables. Hey y'all. Hey. How's it going? Welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you want to see the gardens? I do. Awesome. So this is all of our salad mix that we grow here. Wow, this is beautiful. Thanks. So what varieties do we have here? Um, there's a, a red romaine, a green romaine, and then uh, just a, a leafy green and leafy red. Then we just cut it all at once, yeah. put it in a cool. box and send it to you. Wow, yeah. it yeah. is gorgeous. Thanks. And I hear that you plow with horses. We do. Yep. We can go get the horses if you want to see them. I would love to. Cool. When I get stuff locally, it, you know, it's obviously fresher and tastes better. You're building relationships with people in your community. You're making friends. And my customers appreciate it when I buy things locally. They know it's better for them. It's better for the economy and the community. What do you think you're so made? And that's very uncommon. I mean, everything is made from scratch, down to our mayonnaise and ketchup. You will get phone calls sometimes. People will ask about certain things, like people come from Tennessee because their daughter likes the tomato soup we make. And like our hot dipped chicken, people love that. They come in and realize that we have it on specials, and then they'll come in and bring their friends at dinner, and then they'll come back at lunch the next day and say, you know, you're not out of the hot dipped chicken yet, are you? Think about like my employees and how close we are. I feel like a lot of them are close friends now because they met here and that would have never happened if they hadn't come here for a job. People have asked why wouldn't I do this somewhere else like Asheville or Charlotte. I feel like it would work anywhere but I have a commitment to Boone and the community and while Proper has been here and running for eight years, I'm not quite finished with it yet. And I think Boone is a special place. I want people to be themselves. Whatever it was that they've dealt with for that day, they can just come here, have a seat and let us take care of them. My name's Angela Kelly and I'm a Boonie.
Funding for Boonies is provided in part by the Watauga County Economic Development Commission. Work and play in Watauga County, North Carolina. Above the competition, beyond belief. The ideal place to build a business and build a life. Also by First Security Insurance. Protecting what matters most. For a complete list of funders and to find out more, visit www.artemisindependent.com.